Hello and welcome on this beautiful Monday uh, from the Netherlands. Uh, my name is Pim and I work at With Locals and today I'll be touching the waters with you regarding martial arts. For this I am joined by uh, host Paul from uh, Kuala Lumpur. Um, and if you have any questions, comments or remarks uh, that you want him to answer, uh, please feel free to let us know in the chat. And I will make sure that uh, Paul will get the questions. Um, also feel free to subscribe um, by clicking the button below the live stream. Uh, so you don't miss out on any of the upcoming live streams. And for a full schedule of our, all our live streams, please go to www.withlocals.tv. Um, but without further ado, let's just jump straight over to Kuala Lumpur. Paul, how are you doing uh, over there? Yeah, great. I'm good, yeah. So far, I'm good, yeah. During these pandemics, I'm still good, yeah. I'm, I'm eagerness. I have the eagerness to uh, to share my thoughts and my passions to you guys. Yeah. So how are you doing, guys? Yes, we are. Uh, we're doing fine here. It's a nice weather, and uh, it looks to be also quite okay there. Because what time is it over there right now? Over there right now here is uh, five uh, five p.m. Yeah, in the evening. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. So here it's uh, eleven uh, in the morning. So, um, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm really curious about what we're going to learn uh, from you today, Paul. So, um, yeah. it's martial arts, I heard. Sure, so, yeah. Uh, yeah. Feel free to take it away if you want. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, if you want, uh, you can uh, tell us all about martial arts and what it means to... Uh, have this body, mind, and soul uh, retreat for us because it's a self-discipline, patience, and perseverance form of exercise. I know, right? Yeah. So uh, for martial arts, actually, is the form of practice has been uh, practiced by uh, the Chinese, uh, the Chinese people, even from from the day in China. So I'm Malaysian, but I'm a Chinese Malaysian. So the tradition is from China. So this martial arts is actually has been practiced wherever where you are coming from. You're coming from China, you're coming from Thailand, you're coming from US, wherever. Because there is a Chinese, so we will practice martial arts. Okay. The purpose of, of uh, practicing martial arts is to keep our body, our mind, and our soul, yeah, uh, more freedom, more, more things that we can learn to release our pressure and to keep our health in tip top conditions. So uh, martial arts is a form of practice, practice about our health, about our self-discipline, and about our, our patient. Okay. So uh, actually, what I learned the martial arts from my grandmasters, yeah, so it's quite, quite uh, interesting. Yeah, that can help a lot of people. Yeah, not just form, not just the form of uh, self defense, it's also the form of to keep our health. Yeah, in a really good, good condition. Yeah, so I'm quite active. Yeah, in doing a lot of sports also. So it help us to alleviate all the problem that we face. Yeah, you know the right now the pressure that we have, that we are working something. Yeah, we have a lot of pressure. So hopefully. Uh, we can use martial art forms to to relieve and to heal our body. Yeah. So, so does, it also, um, in, yeah. does it also in that way, Paul, help with the uh, current things going on, like with the pandemic, um, to like yeah, yeah. keep your mind uh, like sane in in that way? Yeah, yeah. Is is keep our mind in a clear uh, clear way, so we don't have to be uh, so uh, stressful. So it's to release our stress and to overcome our stress. Yeah. So it helped a lot of people. Yeah. Doing that, no matter where you're coming from. So all are welcome to uh, to share. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Good to know. Yeah. Then uh, I think you were. I, I interrupted you with the story, so I think you can continue with uh, whatever you were uh, was saying, Paul. So go okay. ahead. Okay. Yeah. All right. So um. So I, I just want to ask uh, you guys: Have you heard about uh, kung fu? I mean, kung fu. Uh, usually, you heard about kung fu from Bruce Lee, kung fu from uh, Ip Man, uh, 
IP man or Wing Chun, or I was Qi Gong, or we call um, the uh, other forms of uh, arts of Kung Fu. So the Kung Fu is actually, uh, I learned when I'm, di I'm in the school. Yeah, when I'm, I, I'm in youngsters. Yeah, I'm the youngsters. So I learned from my, my grandmaster. Okay. So my grandmaster is, uh, is a very well-known uh, grandmaster that he find his mark and he's been practicing uh, this Kung Fu and uh, bring this form and arts to around Malaysia and the other part of the world is down under in Australia, in Adelaide. Yeah, he's teaching a lot of students. Okay, so uh, this sort of uh, Kung Fu, uh, the, the way of the Kung Fu that we practice, that I practice is we call the Yue family's boxing uh, Kung Fu. Okay, so it's a very soft Kung Fu. It's a very uh, soft and non-violent Kung Fu. So it's very nice that uh, we can keep our health, our disciplines and our, we call the uh, uh, knowledge, you see, and the way we treat people also help us to be a good person. Okay. So this style of Kung Fu that helped me a lot. So I want to revive back the Kung Fu that my, my grandmaster uh, teaches, yeah, teach me that uh, I want to share with you guys, yeah, if you, uh, maybe you never heard about this type of Kung Fu uh, because uh, this type of Kung Fu is quite low profile, but uh, it's very nice that we are able to maintain uh, it and pass the knowledge to everyone. Okay. Okay, then uh, so, I think it's uh, really nice to, uh, to start doing, doing that. Yeah. Before we uh, start with that, Paul, um, I have some comments from the chat. Uh, I have a few yeah. people tuning in. Uh, hello, Paul and Pim from Valkus Wat, also from Berlin and Eindhoven. Yeah. And Bram mentions, I only know Bruce Lee. It's also Bruce Lee. We all know him, but he's not really doing martial arts, or is he? Yeah. Uh, Bruce Lee, he's, uh, he's uh, combining few forms of Kung Fu. Uh, we call it martial arts. Okay. He used Wing Chun because his master, the Bruce Lee master, is Ip Man. Okay. He passed on to him. But um, Bruce Lee, uh, he practiced Jeet Kune Do. So he, he combined Jeet Kune Do and the boxing style together with Wing Chun. So his style is, is a combination of a few Kung Fu uh, styles. Okay. So you can see that his uh, decisiveness, his sharpness, his concentration is very good. Uh, okay. But Ip Man Kung Fu, I mean, the Ip Man, he's, uh, he's learned Wing Chun. That one is more to the soft way of Kung Fu. There's not too harsh and there's not too uh, 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 hard that you can, uh, what is it, uh, harm people. Okay. Because Wing Chun is more soft. They will try to uh, overcome you, but they are not trying to harm you. To make it, uh, uh, you understand, okay, what Wing Chun is, means what Wing Chun able to, not just to fight. It's also the way of to uh, change people's perceptions about uh, fighting. Try not to fight. We have to be peace. Yeah, that's Wing Chun. So my Kung Fu, Yue family boxing is different. My Kung Fu is, a, is an ancient Kung Fu. It's from during the Song dynasties in the 12th century. It's founded by one of the, uh, we call the general. That general is called General Yue Fei. Okay. He's lo very loyal to the uh, emperor. So he's been uh, uh, practicing this Kung Fu and fight during the wars. Okay. So, but eventually he died uh, when he's 39 years old because he, uh, he's been uh, framed by other of imperial officers and he's been uh, assassinated, yeah, has been killed by someone. So unfortunately, but his Kung Fu legacies has been left behind to his uh, fellow soldier that he very cared about the people and his fellow soldier and his uh, families. Yeah. So this uh, Kung Fu generation is, is, has been derived to the uh, different part of the world, but uh, it's very low profile. Yeah. So uh, this is very, uh, uh, very nice that uh, I can able to share with you guys, yeah, uh, this sort of Kung Fu is different, totally, totally different, but the way of uh, we are doing is more uh, quite uh, 
quite nice. Yeah, quite relaxing. Yeah. Okay, that uh, sounds yeah. really good, Paul. So I think. Uh, yeah, we. I also know that we can do some. We'll do some exercise for you. And I'm. Uh, are you ready for starting that now, or do you need the people yeah, at I'm home ready. also? You're I'm ready. ready. And the yeah, people at I'm home, ready. do they need like a bit of space around them, or like do they need anything, yeah. or is just let's uh, let's let's they can always do it, or? Yeah, they just can build. No problem. I can I I can show it in front of here. Maybe the uh the space is not too big, but it's still okay because it's quite quite nice that i can show something like some basic form of exercise of uh the uh the this uh good family boxing style of kung fu yeah let's go ahead let's uh yeah. let's do that okay sure okay here we come so we have to do some little basic exercise we call the hang gong hang gong is uh, actually is the basic one is to make sure that we warm up. Okay. We have to make sure that we concentrate. Stomach in, chest up. Breathe high. Release. I release. I release. Then we have to stretch. Then our leg have to open. Then we have to turn. For a few seconds, then have to put it to the front and to put it back in the middle. So then we have to release. Then we have to hold the punch. Then we have to punch using the, the third middle finger because all the force is coming from the middle of the finger to punch, to punch, punch, punch. Push, push, push. Then we have to sit back and we have to go. We have to stretch up to make sure our backbones, yeah, is straight. For a few seconds. Then we have to sit back. down quick uh, question paul to interrupt could you move a bit further back so we can see also what happens with your legs and stuff yeah 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 thank you very much okay. yeah okay so the next step is to to overcome the attack it's like this The most important thing is our foot. Both of our foot we have to, we call the horse right. Horse right foot means we have to be stand. Means you have to horse right here. Make sure you are firm. Stomach in, stomach in, chest out. So you have to be firm. So your, your foot path must be very, very firm. So no one can, can attack you easily, then you can fall down. It will be quite secure. So you have to practice this for at least half a minute to one minute, at least. It means 30 seconds to 60 seconds.
this is the form of exercise that you need to relieve after you practice. So, have to do some sparing. So you can also do some normal exercise to make sure that your blood flow and your heart, your spleen, your kidney, and your body is balanced. Yeah. So this is the basic exercise. Yeah. So uh, we've got long more more long exercise, but that will be the next next step. Yeah. Uh, okay. I think that was also really nice for people to uh, to follow. But um, what I'm wondering, because you do these movements, but and they they start real slow, but then in the end you do like a sort of push. Is that like um, to push out the stress in yeah. that way, or? Yes, it's an isometric uh, way of uh, of practice that besides we we are we are punching, we also relax. We are doing exercise is to relieve our our stress our blood flow is flowing okay sometimes our body is not good because of the, the blood is not flowing well okay it's from our heart so we got kidney we got spleen we got heart okay we got a lung so all this is keeping flowing so we have to make sure that you have to move then you have to stretch okay then you have to uh breathing up and Bring down, up, down, release for one or two minutes or even more if you can. Okay, because we want to make sure that uh, you get the whole thing, do it so the, the flow of your blood and oxygen will be concurrently running. So we have to make sure we have to be actively doing that. Yeah. Okay, I think that's uh, that's a good explanation of it. Um, I also have a few yeah. people in the in the uh, chat asking um, if you do this every day, and if so, for how long? That's a question from Ela and Lika. Okay, uh, you can do it. Okay, if you are you are hardworking, you can do it every day, once or twice. If you you want to do it just casually, you can do it once a month or twice a month. Okay. So uh, it depends on how many steps you're going to do. Because normally we do it is to release the stress. Some people, they do it not just because of release the stress. It's to overcome a lot of problem in our mind. Okay, that sometimes we, we have a lot of things that we cannot uh, clear our mind. We have a lot of negative thoughts. We have a lot of uh, something is not good uh, happening around us. So we, we do it, then the positive thought is coming back to us. So we have this, this way is to, to uh, make us to cool down, make us to have a very uh, open-minded that once you practice it, you're, then your, 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 your body will feel for all those heat generates. So you have a lot of uh, uh, things that you're going to go through your body. So you have to concentrate. If you do it, you have to do it, concentrate, make, that, make sure that you concentrate for your full cost. Don't like, uh, just do it, just, uh, okay, relax a lot. Just concentrate, release, do it, release, release, do it, hot. Yeah, so it's to make sure your circulation is going. So you can uh, have more discipline. Also help you to be disciplined people. Okay, I think that definitely uh, answers both of their questions. Um, yeah. Then I also have a question of my own, because you are now, wh where are you standing right now? Because there's a, a, a nice, beautiful view in the background that's also uh, noticed yeah, by a guy now. Uh, the sky deck in my apartment. Yeah. This is your apartment where you're in right now? Yeah, my apartment. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, it looks really, yeah. looks really nice. So uh, <laughs> nice apartment you have then. Um, then yeah. I also had a, a question of my own um, about the grandmasters you mentioned. 
Like, yeah. are, how many grandmasters are there that that teach uh, and that bring the the art martial arts to uh, other people? Are there uh, like many, or are there only a few? Back in China, and also some is in Malaysia, some is in uh, in Singapore and different parts of South Asia. But my grandmother's master is from Malaysia. He's a Malaysian. Okay, he's a Malaysian. It's the same city as me, but he's been practicing that for more than 50 years. You see, more than 50 years. So they have they have so many centers around Malaysia, uh, in the big city. Okay, uh, 30 years ago, more than 30 years ago, he's been uh, teaching students in Australia in Adelaide. Okay, so. Um, his way of Kung Fu impressed uh, on, during the time the mayor of Adelaide. So the Adelaide mayor granted him a permanent residence in Adelaide. So he, from there, he teach all those students. Okay, not just Chinese, everyone. Everyone, white, black, anyone he teach there. Then his form of Kung Fu has been still been practicing there in uh, Adelaide, Melbourne Street, yeah. So uh, then he come back to Malaysia to teach uh, again our students in Malaysia. Then um, he uh, he become a monk already right now. <laughs> now he's in, in the 80 plus years old. Yeah, become a monk already. Because uh, why he want to become a monk? It's not because he wished to. It's because uh, during uh, when he's young, uh, on his way back from different city to Kuala Lumpur, He's uh, nearly faced a uh, uh, called a the car accidents. The car accidents then going to take his life off. Okay, but before he rode down to the ravine, he he asked Buddha, "Can you help me? Because I'm still young. I have a lot. I have got a few children to take care. So I want to live. So Buddha help him. So he's alive. Only just minor scratch." So he, he pledged to the Buddha that if I practice uh, this well, after a certain years when I'm ready, I will fully become a monk. So he, after a few years later to 10 years, he went all the way to Thailand to become a monk. Then he also traveled around the world to Tibet, to China, yeah, to Thailand, to Malaysia, and back so forth in different countries. So uh, he still leaves the legacy to us because this is uh, it's a very old kung fu, very old martial arts. Yeah. I thank you for that uh, explanation, uh, Paul. Um, I also have uh, one more question coming in from Emmy, who mentions, yeah. uh, I am also curious what kind of an exercise routine Paul himself likes to have. Does he do this exercise typically in the mornings or, and then with a question mark, Okay, this exercise you can do it anytime, but I prefer in the morning and the late evening before the sunset and during the sunrise. Yeah, so this exercise it can be practiced. It can we can practice using this exercise uh, when we feel like we want to do it. Yeah, because uh, uh, it will help us to, uh, to reduce our uh, our tension our our risk of, uh, we have a lot of, uh, you see, a lot of negative thought. So when you practice, you feel relaxed. Yeah. You don't feel like you have a lot of uh, pressure. Yeah. So if you practice together with many people in a group, that's more merrier, more fun. Yeah. Okay. That's, uh, that's also good. a nice thing to know. Um, then I have also Budima. I hope I pronounced your name correctly, who also says hi from Sri Lanka. So we have uh, viewers all around the world uh, tuning in. Um, Paul, is there anything else you would really like to tell us or show us or anything? Okay. Um, besides, I'm uh, I'm the martial art practitioners. I'm also an uh, um, active hiker. Yeah, I like to hike. Yeah, I hike at least once or twice a week. Yeah, to this magnificent, beautiful uh, rainforest in Malaysia. And uh, so... Um, Actually, I'm, I'm planning, I mean, earlier I planned to climb the highest mountain in Malaysia, Mount Kinabalu, but because of the pandemics, uh, it's been canceled. So I have to 
I have to uh, postpone it to next year or next year after that. Yeah, to climb again. Yeah, to climb uh, the, the Mount Kinabalu. Yeah, the highest mountain in Malaysia and the highest mountain in Southeast Asia. Yeah, four thousand one hundred meters. Yeah. So I'm quite active. Nice. But, yeah, quite active. Yeah. Um, let's see if we have some more. We don't have more questions yet. Um, I'm okay. That may be one thing for myself. I'm I'm wondering. This was the real basic uh, martial arts experience, right? Yes. Basic, Could you yeah. maybe show us some more advanced kind of martial arts, or is it too difficult? You think, or is it not something that I just can ask you to do? It's like literally that you yeah, have to feel no it. No problem. I, I can show you one or two of the more advanced. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's quite. Uh, I mean, uh, when you when you're able to master the basic, then at once it's not a problem for you. Uh, because basic, you have to go to intermediate, then you go to advanced. Okay. But uh, once you, you master the basic, is to make sure our footwork is firm. A lot of people say uh, footwork is firm what? Means in a car, you, you, you pull the handbrake. You pull the handbrake, nobody able to push you. Nobody able to hit you means people hit you, you won't feel that painful. It's still pain, but not that painful. So you can defend, okay? Make sure that you have the footwork. Yeah, if you don't have the footwork, means your leg is like shaking. So a bit hard for you to balance yourself. Then you easily trip, easily get, uh, I mean, uh, overcome by people that attack. So I can show some one or two uh, way of uh, some self-defense, yeah, way of uh, we call the uh, attack, yeah. Usually our attack is very soft, so we don't use sharp weapons, no sharp weapons like, like the sword, like the arrows or whatever. The only thing we use is only uh, the cane, yeah, the hard cane, yeah. So uh, usually we, are, we use more hand than leg. Because we are not Bruce Lee, we're using hand. Yeah. So just like Wing Chun, they're using hand, they call the lock hand. Yeah. The, the sticky hand. Yeah. So we also have this. A little bit similar, but uh, different. Yeah. So I can show it to you guys uh, uh, some of the uh, difficult, uh, difficult uh, practice that I practice before. I would. That's really nice, Paul. I think. But could you maybe then also show the the footwork? Because you mentioned it's really interesting for the footwork, and we yes. can't see your feet right now. So could you maybe okay. turn the camera a bit down, or move even further backwards? Okay. I'm not right. sure if we can still hear you if you move further backwards. So that's why. Uh... Oh. Yeah. Now we can. Uh, now we can see your feet. Uh, feet. Uh, well, yeah. Go down until to 45 degrees, if you can. If you can't, it's just 75 degrees. Then you have to stomach in, chest out. Then you have to relax. You have to relax. Close your eyes, relax.
done. The important thing is the, the food work is to make sure to make sure that we are able to withstand uh, the attack. People who are going to kick you, you're going to be easily moved if your footwork is not good. So you have to make sure that your footwork is good. So really firm in that way that you really stand your ground when you do it. Your muscle will itch. Yeah, if you are you are new, if you are new, so you have to be uh, practice practice more and more from. From 10 seconds to 20 seconds to half a minute to one minute. Yeah. Okay, that's. Uh, I think that's good for the viewers as well to know because in the beginning, I think it's also really uh, difficult to do to keep your tension in your muscles while standing like that for a long time. Yeah. I mean, you stood there yeah. for quite some time, and not everybody can do that. Uh, I uh, I can imagine. Um, yeah. Let's quickly take a look at the chat because I have Ela asking another question. What is your favorite yeah. spot to do the exercises? Favorite spot. Okay, my favorite spot to do the exercise is in the open field, is in the playground, or in the uh, in the empty piece of um, rainforest. And better, the better uh, and the nicest one is around the waterfalls. If I can do that, yeah. Because from waterfall, I can meditate in more around the waterfalls. Uh, beneath the waterfalls, yeah. So I like waterfalls. Then waterfall is actually is water and wind. So Chinese we call feng shui. So this is also to to release all those negative uh, thoughts from from our body. Yeah. Okay, that's. Uh, I think that answers Ela Ela's questions. Um, I, I can also imagine that it's because it's with waterfalls and with the wind. Like you're fully in a nature environment. Um, without a lot of uh, distractions, that also helps with uh, exercising, I can yeah. imagine. Um, then I have Eric asking, are there different milestones or degrees you can reach with martial arts? Uh, okay. Actually, the milestone is uh, uh, we here we are not uh, just learn martial arts for the form of, of competitions or fighting or what. We just learn for for our the benefit to our our health, our body, our mind, our practice, and the traditions. Okay, because the tradition of this martial arts has been uh, founded by General Yefei that he's the one, he's a very humble guy. So he, he wished that teach more people to help more people, help more people in forms of uh, the exercise, uh, the martial arts for self-defense because he teach to the, uh, the people in his village Okay, to defend themselves against the bandits and uh, against the uh, uh, some someone who are quite fierce, yeah, thief or whatever. So uh, when he's not around, so they can self defense. They can have and can be ready to to weather the attack. Okay, and also uh, to help the people, the poor people, because uh, we want to make sure that we are not just for the sake of fighting. We are the sake because. We, we practice for the sake of helping more people learn, get more knowledge. I mean, more knowledge to transfer to people and also to help more people who are in the needs. The needy people, the poor people, the children, yeah, uh, beggars, yeah. So this is able to give us uh, a lot of uh, good heart. So we, we, our heart will be more softer. So we'll be good heart, we help people wherever they are, who they are. They are poor. They are. They are not. They are not so poor. Wherever they are, they are from from different country, different race. Yeah, they treat everyone equally. To in a sense be more compassionate with all the all the people too. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's. Uh, I think that's really nice to um, yeah know this as well because indeed as Eric mentioned, are there different milestones or degrees? It's not actually that you do it for someone else to see on to see. Uh, hey, I have this degree now and you have this degree, but it's really more for yourself and your other people to yeah, better socialize in a way, well, understand each other, I think, as well. Um, then I have Davy, uh, who mentioned, would be great to see more exercises. And I think we already did that because you mentioned it a few minutes ago. Um, so I think she's uh, she really liked your uh, footwork um, yeah, close-up that you did that again. 
Uh, and then I also have Nuno Madeira um, mentioning fantastic. That's really difficult. And he did, he or she did karate. Um, so she probably knows, or he or she probably knows that you did uh, something re really intensive there. Um, yeah, I think there's no further question in the chat. Uh, I'll give the viewers a few more minutes to ask some questions if there are any. Um, in the meantime, yeah, Paul, I really uh, liked yeah doing this yeah. Uh, this talk with you and you showing the the basics of uh, martial arts, getting uh, for us to um, to know uh, yeah to know a bit about uh, martial arts. Uh, I learned a lot yeah. during this live stream again. Um, Thank you. Quickly, I see that Nuno uh, mentioned that he's from Portugal and that it's indeed a he. Um, but yeah, really, thank you uh, very much, Paul. Um, yeah, well, it's my it was really nice. Uh, I think it's uh, yeah becoming evening for you, and we're heading uh, to lunchtime over here in the Netherlands. Um, thank you very much, and also to yeah. all the viewers, please feel free to subscribe if you want to see more of this content. Um, and uh, yeah, let's uh, do Paul his last final exercise, and then we can uh, all go to. Um, to exercise after this live stream. Thank you, Paul. Yeah, okay. Yes, bye-bye. Bye-bye.